I didn't press anything. Okay. Anyhow, I'm leaving that part in, by the way, because I didn't expect that to happen. Um, right, so this uh, is not a sponsored video. Um, but we're going to talk Manscaped. Uh, waited a whole week for this. Paid, you know, $100. And, uh, let me show you. So, before we get started, this video is sponsored by. Just kidding. But, for real. It's the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. You get the get the carrying case with this one. So now I'm not about to talk all great things. This is gonna be not so great things. Now if you're like me and you're looking for a uh, a trimmer, fine. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad. I'm not saying it's a bad, uh, bad product, but it's certainly not designed the greatest. But anyhow, we're going to uh, you know, go over some things. So course what you're going to get in this uh, carrying case which awesome by the way I'm glad I've seen some reviews where this didn't come with a carrying case um, but you're going to get a charging cable and a charging block which has got some weird sticky residue on it. Again, I just got this today. Um, you're also going to get some combs that are adjustable. You got a 2, 4, and 6 millimeter, a 8, 10, and 12 millimeter, and then the one that comes on the thing itself is a 1.4 millimeter. Um, and I'm going to give a disclaimer as well, just in case you didn't know. Um, it does have the skin safe technology. However, it doesn't mean you can't get cut or nicked. Um, the best way to prevent getting cut and nicked with this thing is to have a guard on it. If you have a guard on it, there's no way that you can get cut or nicked. Um, but anyways, and I haven't tried this one, this head yet, but um, uh, I'm sure it's fine. I mean, it looks looks like it's well built, and that's fine and dandy. Um, so yeah, so that's that's fine. Um, what I did use was the foil. Uh, foil head and uh, yeah it works okay for certain areas for other certain areas it doesn't work well at all because with these trim heads on the side obviously I'm a fat guy so everything is fat it's not flat so there's curves and stuff to go around. So this, with the width and design of it, you can't get close to certain areas because there's not, it, it just won't conform to the skin, if that makes sense. Like, like the way to get it a close shave is you have to push down and then 
you know, do that number. Well, with these in the way, you can't do that. If these were out of the way and this was more up, like more flush, it would probably work better. But it's not. So, certain areas I was able to get perfectly smooth for the most part. Like my stomach, I started shaving that. Um, but yeah, as for the boys, it shapes the boys real good. If you just, you know, kind of pull on them and give, I hate to give that visual, but I'm just, I'm just trying to explain it so that uh, if you've never had one of these and you want to buy one, you'll know the best method for, you know, doing it. If you just grab them and gently, you know, as long as you already have it trimmed, trust me, you don't want to, you don't want to try to get after them with this guy. Get, because you, you'll get freaking nicked on the, on that. Trust me, you don't want it. You don't want that. So, um, as for, you know, I mean, I guess, yeah, sure, it works. It works pretty good. It's, it's quiet. It's nice, um, but it's not perfect. Now, I think maybe they should design a, a different foil head for larger people. I mean, without these little trimmer things on the side. And maybe widen, widen the foil part a little more, like get some bigger blades in there and widen the surface area. The more surface area, the easier it is for us bigger people. Because, yeah, let me tell you, it was not easy. I got as close of a shave as I could and even got freaking burned. Even using their... Um, their shave gel, which their shave gel is awesome, by the way, but if you're sitting there having to rub in a certain area over and over and over and over and over again because it just won't get any closer, then eventually that shave gel is going to be in here and not on you, so I guess be mindful of that, but anyways, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just need to keep at it and, uh, you know, keep trying and keep trying and just see, you know, if it gets better over time. But, I don't know. I mean, as of right now, it's not, uh, it doesn't have my greatest, uh, support. I mean... It is designed really nice, it's really ergonomic, and it, it fits well in your hand, it's got a nice heft to it, and, but still, I just can't say that it's fabulous, um, but yeah, I mean, there you have it, it's the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Get it if you dare, I guess, but um, as of right now, it doesn't look so great for me. Now, I started shaving to, you know, for my girlfriend, because she does, so, you know. Um, so I've been doing it for a month with just a razor and just regular, regular shaving cream. Did my arms, my belly, down there, all with just a freaking razor. And while the razor worked flawlessly, almost 100% of the time, it was annoying. Like, my thought was, ah, oh, electric trimmer, oh, it's going to be way faster, you know, just freaking go at it real quick and, and, then, and then you're done. But uh, I, I skipped one day 
for this. And it, it grew out enough to make it rather annoying. Like, so, I don't know. That's my initial first impressions of this thing. It seems to be a great product. Their, um, their shave gel is really good. The, the aftershave is really good. Um, the ball deodorant's pretty good. It's it's got a nice scent to it. It's not too uh, like in your face, you know. But it's like it's a good scent. So your boys will smell good. But uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, it's not fantastic. It's not horrible, but it's not great. Yet. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll be on vacation for the week, and I plan to stick to my normal once a night schedule, you know, keeping it smooth. So, after a week, We'll see how it does. So, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear about your experience with Manscaped, um, good or bad. Um, if you're a big guy like me, definitely want to hear your experience um, or any tips and tricks, you know. If I was doing something wrong, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I was doing something wrong. I think I know how to, you know, get after the stuff. So, I mean, I've done it for quite a while. Especially with uh, a razor. A Harry's razor, no less. This five-blade monster right there does pretty good. But, uh, anyways, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Uh... And I'll see you next time with the update.